Hello everyone, welcome to another video on site calibration. In this video, we are going to see how to calibrate a local site, how to derive local grid coordinates and how to use it in jobs when we are doing stakeout or topographic survey on the site. First, let's understand what is site calibration. Site calibration is a procedure which defines or establishes a relationship between the GPS coordinates which are in latitude and longitudes to a local coordinates which are in easting, northing and elevation. In short, we are trying to establish or make a spherical surface which is the GPS coordinates gives us to a flat surface which we work on the local plane. There are few considerations or workflows which you need to do uh, while doing the site, cali uh, site calibration. Uh, the good process to get a proper site calibration is to perform static surveys. I'll, you can also do RTK but static survey is the most preferred option. You can you can take the static files in the in WGS uh, coordinates, process them, process the baseline, obtain your fixed integers for the vectors, and obtain your points list also a projected coordinate system which are readily available. Get the site coordinates. Usually the site coordinates are obtained from a traverse network or from a conditions which the project is uh, derived on, which the project is working on. So when you get the site coordinates, apply the site coordinates to the projected coordinates and compute the local coordinate system just for northing and easting. If you have a geoid model, then apply the geoid corrections to the computed coordinates of the local site and then compute the local grid coordinates. If you don't have a geoid model, you can also perform a vertical adjustment in site calibration in the, in the software and then you can derive the local coordinates. Uh, there are few considerations when you are trying to use a site calibration uh, procedure. Uh, your control points should be available on the site, the perfectly measured or equally distributed control points. This is an example of a badly distributed control points. A distributed control points, your, your control points should be on the periphery of the sub, of the site which is the major control points or the primary control points and you can also establish any number of control points inside the site or, or call the intermediate points. Uh, uh, in case if you are using more of a total station uh, than GPS in your site you can all you can try to put in more points along the but very close to the working area. If you consider this example the example below you have a site here and the site has also has a surface that is a road or a rail which is coming up. So you can establish the primary control points and densify the control points where you need to have more uh, controls uh, closer to the working area. Just closer to the working area you can see the control points here. This you can establish to make use of it while using a machine control or your, while using a total station or while using auto level runs if you want to have control points you can establish these control points which on um, intensifying these control points gives you better results on the working area and also when it is close to the site your baselines are shorter and your vectors are accurate uh, to establish a site calibration we need minimum of three control points and maximum depends upon what are the site conditions you are into. If you have a site which is like what you are seeing in this uh, examples like a 20 kilometer by 10 kilometer, make sure that each of the control points are not more than 5 kilometers. So each of the established points that are uh, 5 kilometers away, those are the primary points, then you can, in, uh, you can take intermediate points as you see here which are which can be closer to the site which can be less than 5 kilometers uh, this is a general condition 
if the size is uh, if the sizes of the sites are little less you can also scale down the distance between the control points and make sure that the control points are evenly distributed along the site so that it gives you a best fit for your gps calibration next uh, we go into the software part and check how we can perform a calibration The second part of this uh, project is to perform a site calibration based on uh, the, file, the static survey what we have done. So right now I'm going to import the static files. Uh, just select all the files and say import. Okay, these are the files. Just check the antenna type, uh, the antenna height, uh, whichever is your, whichever you have used, are correct. Once you are uh, okay with the data, just say okay. It imports all the files. So these are my static files. Make sure that you have well distributed network and equal triangles, equal triangles all over the site, which is very important when you want to perform any network adjustments. So I'm going to delete the larger lines, larger baselines which are more than 5 kilometers. So like uh, these these baselines here, two, two baselines which I'm going to delete. So now you can see all the triangles are equal triangles now. So for me to start processing, I'm just going to take this arbitrary coordinate as a, as a control point and just a control making it as a survey quality control point okay and then go to vec survey and I'm going to just process the baseline check out for the integers uh, if the solution type is all fixed it's fine check out the rms in horizontal and vertical if it is like within your tolerance just save the baseline processing so in the point list you have uh, your coordinates are like uh, starting with 0 0 for the point 1 so it is not going to uh, be in a coordinate system which you want to work in the site so we need to convert this into uh, the site local site coordinate system coordinates which are array which we have derived from uh, which we have got from the site which is from a local uh, Travis network so I just have to import that network so I have using all the elevation so just import so now I have my local coordinates here and my static coordinates here so just have to perform site calibration just go here site calibration and you can you can perform you can give in a local site settings or you just have to you, you can perform a site calibration straight away from here so you need to match the points which are of ground points and gnss points so my ground point is this and my gnss point is this second is my ground point is uh, maybe four or six oh, sorry uh, gnss point is six and uh, my ground point is 6 you can see the software does not allow you to uh, enter the coordinates uh, inverted or, or like uh, the GNSS point in grid point and grid point in GNSS point so it can be uh, it will be fairly accurate once you have done this you can just say compute site so once you compute it, the you will find the residuals in this the P1 uh, P1 the ver uh, vertical residuals uh, horizontal residuals and the all the of the three points which we have computed this is the results if the results are not satisfactory you can till still try to compute it uh, with uh, based on uh, um, adding more control points or deleting few control points but for me it's it looks pretty accurate you can see the shift in you can see you can get the scale factor you can see the horizontal rotation slope of the plane incline so everything looks okay to me so i just give save this site 
usually it's the site project name so I just give the project name as this and save the site when I say apply this, all the GPS my GPS observations are transformed to the local coordinate system third part of the video is to cover up on how this transformation can be applied to the controllers or the data collectors in the field and how this is to be stored as a site and then transformed into the controllers to use it in the field. Uh, if you look at the coordinate system manager right now and uh, this has local sites uh, and my sites are stored in the uh, coordinate system manager round. So I'm going to save this, uh, save as as a custom site, as a custom coordinate system. So this coordinate system, the custom coordinate system, I will have to con transfer to my data collector. I open up my triple access on the controller. I just go copy the file which I have created right now, the custom uh, coordinate system file. Copy it, go to files, go to the system folders and just paste it. Just replace the old file which, which was there already. So uh, once you place it, it will uh, it will be the new system file with all the uh, transformation of the local site into it so when you go into jobs now so go to jobs new job and you want to change the coordinate system go here select from library just put uh, select the user site here yeah user sites and on the user site we have our site name which is already into the system and store it give a value give a job name and start the job